Hi, I'm Michael. I'm Nash. And today we're going to teach you a brand new game called Factor Triangles. Yeah. Okay, so the way you play it is we've actually got an example here of a winning hand. So each player is going to have five cards, and your aim is to get a triangle that looks like this. Nash, can you explain to them why would this be considered a winning hand? Two times. 41 plus 82. Okay, so in your triangle, you're going to have a two-digit number at the top level, and in the second layer down, you're going to have a one-digit number and a two-digit number. And the aim is for you to make it so that these two numbers are factors of this number. So 2 times 41 gives you 82, hence you would be the winner of the game. All right, Nash. So we've got a regular deck of cards. We've taken out the Kings, uh, Jacks, Tens, but we've kept the aces in. What are the aces, Nash? One. And what are the queens? Zero. Beautiful. So we start with five cards each, and Nash, you can organise your cards any way you like to start. Now, the way the game works is you organise your cards wherever you like, but you are able to constantly move them around if you want. So you can swap them around as you go. 38. Okay. What makes it? Half of 30, 15, no, it's half. Yeah, it's 15. 15 out of 8. So 19, I've got 1. Okay, beautiful. Alright, so do you want me to go first, Nash? Yeah. Okay, okay so I, at the moment I'm trying to make 30. So in every turn, you're picking up, now you can either pick up the card that's showing or you can pick up the mystery card. Um, and then you're swapping it with one of your cards. So I don't need the, the one. Uh, so I'm gonna try for the mystery card. Now the five would actually help me because at the moment I was thinking three times 10 could make 30, but I could also do two times 15 to make 30. So I'm gonna swap this out for that. But before I do that, also worth saying, if you wanted to rearrange the cards, so if I wanted to try to make 50 instead of 30, you're welcome to do that on any turn as well. So you can always move your cards around. But I actually just want to do a straight swap, the five in, the nine out, and now it's your turn, Nash. Now I just need the two. Okay, so you so what, where, and where would the two go? Ah, so two times 19 is... Okay, fantastic. Okay, so back to my turn. Now, do I need that six? Uh, no, I don't think I want the six. I'm going to go for this. Three. And I don't really need the... I'll, I'll swap the three for that three and I'll put it out. All right, Nash, your turn. I'm trying to get the two Okay. Now, the other thing that you remember when it's your turn, you don't have to always just be trying to get the two. Have a look before you put it back to see if there's anything else you can do. Okay. All right, my turn. Yeah, I'm just waiting for one. Okay, so a six. I don't really want the six, this do I? We are two in bed. No one used the two. Uh, what am I going to do with this bloody I'm six? Okay, I don't need the six. So I'm going to swap the six out. This your turn, no Nash. Okay. I don't need the five. Zero. Oh, Nashi. Okay, now this is an important step. I think I've won. Now before we can declare me before we can declare me the winner, Nashi's gotta check it. So Nash? Yeah, you won. How do you know? Three times ten equals thirteen. Okay, do you wanna see if that was a two? Stop, stop. So that's product, um, that's product triangles, uh, factor triangles, that's factor triangles, that's what we call that. So really easy to play, all you need is a deck of cards, um, really good for developing number sense. And we'll see you next time, thanks, bye. bye.